welcome back to another video in the series of angular tutorials and today in this video i am going slightly off topic but very important that is making your angular front end application uh, a full stack application that means your angular does not have a database connection or a server uh, which is answering all the queries of your front end or uh, user interface but you need to make it in the real time an application which has database so usually how it is done is using mean stack and the m stands for mongodb and e express server a for angular and n for node.js so you you need all these tools to make an angular a full stack application but in this video i am going to show you how to easily you can connect angular to mongodb if you don't have any other things to do in a server uh, suppose if your server are, is doing complex uh, multiplications or complex calculations before uh, giving you any answers then you need to have a dedicated server then connect mongodb from that server but if you don't have that specification so here's an easy way to connect mongodb to angular without using node.js and express server so i am in the home page of mongodb at last and mongodb cloud server is called as atlas and in that you need to create clusters they call it clusters and each cluster will have multiple database and each databases will have multiple collections in it and the collections refers to the key value pair of the json type which is uh, which is usually used in mongodb so we are we are dealing with json data in mongodb that is the basic thing and then this is the mongodb atlas cloud uh, website here i've already created a cluster so you can create a cluster by clicking create new cluster here you can select all these providers there are three different providers aws google cloud azure um, you can select any of that depending on your region and uh, availability so i'm in europe and i will select berlin then i can just click create cluster i've already created the cluster and you can see my cluster is uh, located in netherlands region if you click cluster and then come here to the collections you have you can see in this window i have multiple databases already imported so you can also create one database like this i create samples name is collection i will just give some name create so i created a database and inside a collection so inside a, inside the collection you will initially not have any um, data that's that's expected here you can insert document right away with an object id just like how we do in the uh, normal database servers and you can right away start giving a key and value pairs here and then just say insert it is inserting it now you can see there is on already one document in your collection you can insert multiple collections inside a database so here you can see you can create multiple collections and inside collections you can make multiple documents basically each collections collections refers to your table in the relational data uh, storage and um, inside that each document uh, relates to your columns so that's how you can understand this so this is basic uh, overview of mongodb atlas which is a cloud server which will give you database um, query answers from this um, cluster so if you want to connect to this sandbox or cluster you need to have a language and a driver right so you can do that by clicking connect and then you can here see you can do that by using shell mongo shell using cli from your computer or you can use different drivers written in different languages you can see here python ruby scala node.js which is from our um, mean stack and all other main uh, you know backend uh, languages and you can see uh, you can say, select the versions of it as well and mongodb will give you a connection string and this connection string is used in your server to connect to the mongodb cluster or your database in the cloud so this is how it works now if you want to directly connect to angular you don't have anything here 
you only have node.js which is almost near to uh, your uh, stack <clears throat> but I told you I will not use node and express server for this purpose so I am going to use what so there is a cool feature in mongodb at last there is one more tool in mongodb cloud that is called realm okay so realm has different applications i have already created one you can create a new app here i can i'll just show you i'll try to just show you um so here i am connecting my cluster to this realm application you can see cluster zero is going to be connected in this and then then i can just create realm application so i'll just go inside and show you which is already here and if i go inside you can see there are 466 requests already and i've been doing some um, experiments on that so what is the use of this realm web application so you can use this realm application to connect from angular or javascript or any other front-end languages which are not there in the default driver right so how do you do that so you have different sdks from uh, um, realm sdk which has you know javascript inside that or node android web uh, ios dotnet as well right now so all these things are there and one interesting application is graphql right what is graphql now so graphql is a type of language which makes your life easy suppose you are writing a database server code and you have to uh, make functions in that server so that it can render data from your database to the front end right so you need to create your own functions and tell the server to how to take data from the database and how to render it to the clients so you need to do all those things and you need to write the functions manually um, in a typical server and in a huge application it is very difficult for you know like it's a huge task so graphql what does graphql do is it is a very simple um, query language where you can specify what exactly you want from the query right and you can do that very simple using graphql language so i'm going to talk about that